Um, for the time being, there are two things that I can say about what Kuhn said here. The first is how he mentioned that, um... Oh, that these characters were originally created by CC Corp as part of a project. And when he says that, to be honest, it's only partially true. I mean, you saw in the opening animation that Haseo created his character. So it's not like CC Corp created it and then gave it to him. It's... Yeah, maybe I'll explain that, uh, that story a little bit later, once we learn a little bit more about what's going on in the background. Okay, who's next? And then the other one is, uh, when, uh, Haseo was commenting on how the characters and the players can't be connected like that. How a character, how binary data can't be connected with, um, the, uh, player's heart and mind and the like. And that also, it, 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 what it comes down to is the same kind of explanation I give to most people that ask me questions in the comments, which is, it's the genius of Harold's programming. I will say now, Harold Horwick is the guy who first programmed the world, even before it went into R2. And he was an absolute master of programming. I mean, his programming is what made the connection between player and character so strong. It's to the point where there almost is no distinction between player and character. The character is you. It's interesting, but, um, I would very much suggest everyone go back and watch my Let's Plays of the original Quadrilogy, as I cover a lot of things in there. In fact, as one person even mentioned in the comments, that those of you who have seen the original Quadrilogy and those of you who haven't are watching two very different Let's Plays. So, I wholeheartedly suggest you go back and watch that. It'll also give a lot of explanation for a lot of little things that I'm kind of assuming people know, since I know it so well, so I'm not bothering to really explain it all that well. Such as the randomly generated levels, for one. Uh, let's see here, as long as I'm on my dungeon rant here... Uh, what else can I talk about? Oh, oh, da, da, ah, crap, I forgot something I took care of off-screen. But, um, first, to answer one of the another one of the questions in the chat, um, I am indeed playing through this game 100%, so you don't need to ask, are you going to cover this, or are you going to cover that? The answer is yes, I'm covering it. Let's see here, that was one thing... Another thing I wanted to... Another thing someone else mentioned was, since I'm running three Let's Plays at once here, they wanted to know if I'm overworking myself and I'm going to get prone to getting burnt out. And actually, no. What I'm doing here is the exact opposite of getting myself burnt out. In fact, I'm doing these three simultaneous Let's Plays just so I don't get burnt out. Um, I'll say a word on that, but... Um, while I was going through the dungeons off-screen, I managed to kick a whole bunch more Chim Chim, so I went back to that Chim Chim guy from before. I hit another couple milestones, and I got the Antidote Scroll and the Dawn Bird Scroll. Antidote uh, Scroll lets you learn Rip Duck, which cures poison. And the Dawn Bird Scroll lets you learn Rip Mameen, which lets you learn... Uh, cure sleep. Now, it's... They gave you a lot more spells to cure the status effects more individually, which is okay, I guess, but I did kind of prefer the... I did kind of prefer the first quadrilogy's take on it, where there was really only two spells to, um, cure the... It's the word for it that I'm looking for. The ailments of the body and the ailments of the mind were the two different uh, ones. Did I kill the 
killed them already. Oh, that was still off. If you can finish a battle before your morale gauge, which you notice the longer that goes on, your morale gauge drains, when it runs out, you leave the mode. But um, if you manage to finish the battle before that, then you actually keep some of your gauge. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, so I'm actually doing this to avoid getting burnt out, though. Ah, crap, he's on me. Now, I don't think he's going to follow me away from the thing, but I'd still like to get a surprise. Yeah, in fact, I'm, what I'm doing with the Let's Play right now is I'm doing what I did when I did the first quadrilogy, which was three simultaneous Let's Plays. Now, what I usually do is two simultaneous ones, a solo and a co-op. In picking up a project this big, I treated this project, in this case, .hack GU, as a third take, so I'm still doing my solo and my co-op, only I'm doing the big thing that is GU as well. And my little solo projects and the co-op projects are actually going to take a great deal less time to record and edit, so they'll give, give me a nice break so I don't get burnt out having to put as much effort into a GU recording as I do every time. So, yeah, don't worry about me in that regard. It's actually, um, doing, the, doing more of them is actually benefiting me. Though, granted, if I did, like, five le different Let's Plays simultaneously, it'd be confusing for everyone, and it'd probably be more stressful for me, but you get the point. Um, let's see here, what else did I have to talk about? Um, one person seemed to assume that I was playing through the game blind, so they were thinking that the reason I didn't want spoilers was so I didn't get it spoiled myself. And no, that's not the case. I have played through this entire game many a time. I know everything that is dot hack, really, inside and out. This game, I, again, know inside and out. I've played through it a number of times. Those spoilers, um, my preventing spoilers serves two purposes. One, I don't want anybody viewing this video to be spoiled. So I don't want them to see a comment with a spoiler in it. Or I don't want, and this is a big thing that kind of ticks me off, when, you, when somebody asks a question and someone else responds to that comment with a spoiler. Because now, maybe that person didn't know that that question, that the answer to that question was going to be a spoiler. So you're answering then, giving full detail in full spoiler. If I can, as fast as I can get to that and remove it, that person will still read it, and I cannot prevent that. So you just gave a spoiler away for someone that probably didn't want one. So just don't post them, period, in any regard. Now, the other way that it kind of helps me out is I say I don't want anybody talking about anything that hasn't happened yet, which is also kind of my way to get people to not tell me what to do before I even get there. Like, during Okami, I don't know how many times I heard people saying, Oh, don't forget to do this when you get here! Don't forget to do this when you get here! So it's also kind of a way for me to prevent that. But for the most part, it's that I just don't want people spoiled. At all. I don't want... I don't want anybody viewing this spoiled. I don't want anybody commenting spoiled. Just don't do it. I mean, really, what do you hope to gain by get tape? I mean, what do you actually want to accomplish by posting a spoiler in any regard? To be honest, that's something I shouldn't even have to say. I mean, just don't spoil things. It ruins ev it ruins the experience for everybody. But, again, yeah, I have played and I know what's going on in this game. Uh, let's see here. There is a lucky animal over there. Is there any more? I don't think there's any more enemies over here, though. So let's go chase him down! What are you? You are funny looking, that's what you are. Got a pig or something? Now these things do actually move as fast as you, so you want to kind of head them off a little fast. bit. I really admire that. I'm going to help you out. Here. 
I got a thing. But I don't intend to die. Oh well. Wasted lucky animal, I guess. Um, let's see here. Then we have... Mecha Grunty! I remember this. It was laying around like this before. Course unknown. Fuel insufficient. Function shut down. Emergency landing. Passing life form detected. Begin fuel request. Beep! Hey, bro! Be a bud! Give me some chin sphere, please! Okay, that's my favorite one of his lines. And you'll notice the number needed has gone up to 11 now. It's actually, every time you meet him, it goes up by 1. I think when you get all the way up to 50, he actually... I mean, you're actually done with the event. So, it'll be a little while. Jim! Jim Spears! 120%! Resupply complete! Let's see here, a couple other things to talk about. Um, oh, for one, where am I anyway? For one, um, I do understand, I kind, a lot of people mentioned that they wanted me to go through the entire fields, and some people mentioned they wanted me to just kind of only show what was necessary. Um, probably as the Let's Play goes on, I'm going to be showing less and less of the fields. I'm doing it more early on, so I have more time for my dungeon rants, so to say. So that's kind of why I'm talking a good bit. Here, ah, crap. You saw nothing. Carry on. You're not getting away. Let's see here. Another one to talk about was... Um, for those of you who don't know yet, I do indeed have a forum where I do a lot of... I put a lot of my Let's Play stuff up there, and I give a little, lot of extra stuff. And one of the... One thing a lot of people on the forum have been concerned with is why I haven't made a forum topic for this Let's Play yet. And, to be honest, that's because I don't know what I would do with this topic. I mean, in Okami, I posted how many... Um, how far I was with the bead collection, I posted some, the higher, higher resolution uh, beastery images, and a lot of neat stuff that way, but with GU, I honestly don't know what I would do with a forum topic for it. So that's why I haven't posted a forum topic yet. Rest assured, I will post one eventually, I just don't am not terribly sure what I want to do with it yet. I was thinking I could post the desktop images that you get, but these wouldn't be the largest images in the world. They'd be some neat images, but they probably wouldn't even be, um... 720 by 480. They'd probably be closer to 480 by 360, to be honest. So they'd be reasonably small images. But there's an idea. And let's see here. Was there a... No, there were some enemies up here. Can I sneak around behind you? Yes, can. Now, the final thing that I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit in the uh, dungeon rant here is one kind of interesting thing they did with the overworld. Or the characters on the overworld. The map, I should say. Which is that they actually make all the different characters... Classes, I should say, not so much characters, but all the different classes run at different speeds. Like your lighter ranged classes actually run slower than your more melee oriented classes. And I would say, as far as an actual MMO goes, this is a very nice touch. And it makes perfect sense that the more physical-oriented characters are going to run faster than the um, more squishy ones. However, you have to keep in mind this is only an emulation of an MMO. This isn't an actual MMO. This is a single-player game. And in that regard, I think it was a bad decision, because just while running around now, I've got two people following me, and Kuhn, being a ranged, he'll fall behind. So now every so often, it's just annoying because I have to stop and wait for Kuhn to catch up. There's Pi, there's Kuhn. So, kind of an interesting decision, but I think it was a bad decision, given the circumstances. 
and we came all this way to fight the boss. As many enemies as we've fought, we haven't been able to summon an avatar or anything yet, so maybe the boss will be able to help us out with that. But how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay, the image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, Avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Oh, hey. Vaughn. Huh? Don't be careless. We do have more important things to worry about, though. Like a boss battle. <laughs> And I did get some new armor, I got some new weapons. Now, this boss is... he's generally not that hard, but he has an, the interesting ability to put everyone to sleep, which is why I'm behind it. Hopefully I won't get hit. And he didn't actually get the chance to use it. Oh well. I guess we won. Granted, this is a level 8 area, I'm level 12 thanks to going through those various other dungeons given to us, so I'm a little over-leveled for this area. In fact, I hope to stay a little over-leveled throughout the entire rest of the game. It detracts from the challenge, but it also makes the monotonous parts of the game go by a lot quicker, and I'm doing this to keep it entertaining for you guys, not boring. So there's that. Um, I had one last thing to talk about for my dungeon rants, but I'll save that one for next time and see if I can come up with anything else to talk about. And with any luck, I'll quickly run out of stuff to do so you can stop being bored with me killing every monster and breaking every pot in the fields. Agreed? Agreed. All right, then. Haseo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch. <sighs> Haseo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. Going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well. Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen. If you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with G.U. is off! Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. <clears throat> Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, alright? Alright. Let's head back, okay? Eh, not bad. I didn't get any chim spheres. Oh well. Now, Pi is a bit gruff here, but half of that's because of Haseo being a bit on the gruff side, and half of it's because she has her own story to tell. Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. <sighs> anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. 
Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you in order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn nor myself can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you... You plan to use that power. Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it. Even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you. You seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now. Now, Pi sounds a bit preachy, but in truth, she's speaking from experience. As I said, she has her own story to tell. I don't recall how much of that story is actually told in-game, though, so I'll probably touch on that at another time. Avatars, though, they're an exceedingly powerful force. They're a power that can undo the world itself. But they also have a mind of their own. Or you could say, anyway. Controlling one isn't easy. It would seem a bit cruel to Data Drain Haseo right off. But if he managed to summon his avatar and couldn't control it, everyone playing this game would be at risk. So it would have to be suppressed. This is a dangerous power we're toying with here. I pray that we can handle it. Until next time, everyone. Looks like we get to log out and check our email or something. Until then. <laughs>